Def's only here for Queensbury Promotions. I'm joined by British and Commonwealth welterweight champion Chris Jenkins. How you doing? I'm very bad. Very good. Uh, long morning, but we uh, we done a little workout. So back home now. The last time we did an interview, you popped your finger in my ear. You wet it first. Um, <laughs> have you caught anything? No, I haven't, mate. No, and. Uh, I should apologise for as well, because I had a few of Bill's messages to do it, but then he's banned and you, know, you can take the kid out of the thing, we can't take the kid out of me. So I, I sort of enjoyed it, which is a bit weird. Um, but but tell me, so how, how's camp going? Um, camp's like done, really. Um, yeah. The sparring's been done. Robert Davis doing a good sparring. Cassie Benjamin, good mm-hmm. sparring. Meredith Thomas is in my gym with 9 and 0. Fred Evans, who's a former Olympic silver medalist, and we've been all the wrongs are done now. It's all about taping off, keeping the energy, and just maintaining weight. We say that keeping the energy, tapering off, maintaining weight. What happens between today and the 30th of November? Yeah, just, just chill. There's <laughs> nothing like just chill, maintain weight. Um, obviously, you know you got to save your energy, keep your energy resources at a certain level. Um, you know, keeping hydrated as well. But everything's done now. Just about remaining focused now for the job at hand on, on 30th. How do you chill? What do you do in downtime? You got it sounds like you've got a bit of kind of free time now. You're not gonna be sparring, you're not gonna be doing all the mad stuff. What will you do? No, I I got three kids. Yeah. Um twin boys of seven and eighty month year old, so usually it's just chill out with them, watch your movies, but you know, just just be a family man for now for the next couple of days. Until obviously we go away and I fight. Will the wife and kids be coming along to the fight? Um, the children won't be. They'll be staying with uh, my mother and father-in-law mm-hmm. because obviously they're only young. But the wife always turns up. Yeah. So she has to be there. Yeah. Do you think you'll let your kids come along? In few- how old are they? Um, seven-year-old twins and eighteen-month-old. But okay. you know I can't see me boxing until I'm forty. Yeah. So for a minute, I won't. Now I'm taking it one fight at a time. One thing I've got to ask you, because you, you're a really interesting character to me. I, I, I really like talking to you. Have you got any kind of like pre-fight rituals, anything you do which is a bit weird? <laughs> no. <laughs> That's, that makes it sound weird. No, nothing. Just obviously, after my fight, I always like to speak to I'll see my kids' faces as well. It sounds stupid, but you know, we're, we're, we're adults, we're family men, we're in the ring and we're putting a performance on for the fans. And... You know, the devastation in the last year or so, fighters losing their life in the ring. Now, I want to see my kids before going in the ring, even if it's a face time, but, you know, that's that's all. That's only one thing I have to see my children's faces before I go in the ring. So you you FaceTime from the locker room? Yeah, 100%, without fail. How close to the fight do you do that? Literally five minutes before I go in the ring. And then presumably as soon as you've come out of the ring, you're FaceTime with them again? Straight away, straight away. Same in when I box out in Belfast. I FaceTime on before with the gloves on. Alistair, um, my mate from AJ in boxing, he FaceTime my wife for me on my behalf. As we've seen him before. And then afterwards I come out there and I could see him. And so it was no, peace of mind. When, you've, uh, when you're FaceTiming them, you've got all the cuts as well. Do they say anything to you? Yeah, it's usually going, Ooh, what's that? Dad? <laughs> ah, oh, are you going to die? And it's like, whoa, come on, <laughs> kid. But no, they, they know what um, the job I do is going in the ring. And they know that daddy cuts. It's bad, you know, they're used to it now. They've been around there for long enough. And they're getting older as well. It's just the baby now needs to understand now, not to poke daddy's eyes. <laughs> so you've got the British title. I have heard Conor Ben's promoter say Conor Ben should be fighting for the British title very soon. You're the British champion. He'd have to fight you. Do you fancy that? If it happens, it happens. At the last, um, then the day I'm, I got to focus now on Liam Taylor, defending my British. I think the Commonwealth's on the line as well. Mm-hmm. I think. So you know, get a job in there, and if that fight comes off next, it comes off next. I'm a fighting man. I'll fight anyone. Say you uh, you come through, everything's fine, November 30th, and you are told, Chris Jenkins, you've got three fights left. Who would you choose to fight in those three fights? Anyone in the world. I want to fight my wife because she'd beat me <laughs> up. But no, seriously, I, I don't know. I just fight, you know, just fight big money fights, simple as. I, then I, then I got a kid, I got a wife. We need to earn money, so... But I think... I don't want to get beat up like so I can't say shit <laughs> in names, but no wherever, you know, whoever wants to fight, they'll fight. 
Okay, that's it. That's, that's it. easy, isn't it? I think, well, keep it simple, but no, I wouldn't call out no other fighter really, to whoever's there is there. You know, whoever wants it can have it, and if they beat me, fair dues. Okay, so last time we spoke, you said you are predicting you will box Liam Taylor's head off in Respectful. a respectful way. Um, has your prediction changed anymore now that you've been through your camp? How, how are you feeling about it all? I'm feeling good. Um, I'm feeling fit. I'm feeling sharp. You know, they sparred last week at the good 12 round spar, two different fellas. And, you know, could have done 15 rounds. You know, Gary was saying, you know, we're peaking at the right time. But, you know, I am. The game plan is to box his head off. Simple as. There's no disrespect to him. I respect him as a fighter. But i got a job to do then. i got to keep going into to bring the money to the house. OK, well, we wish you all the luck in the world, Chris. Nice talking to you as always, mate. No worries, mate. I know what release today. <laughs> <laughs>